I'll be honest, I wasn't actually expecting to beat that guy there. So, you'll see what I mean. So, welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. And, yes, that was blindfolded. <laughs> Alright. So basically what I did there is I uh, timed my movements to the music a little bit for a bit. It's only useful when I enter an area, but when it's useful, it's kind of useful. Except during the LLG uh, Narsha battle, where it was pretty much absolutely necessary. The whole thing hinged on that. Um, so anyway, Lox, Cyan, uh, Edgar, Savin, Celeste. And yes, I am de-equipping Celeste, and I'm not going to bring her to the... Oops. Having some menu deficiencies here. Hopefully that went as planned. I feel a little bit weirded out by that. You know what's going on? Ugh. Well, now I can't get the piece of information I wanted. Good work, me. Well, I'm just gonna have to wing it and hope that I did that correctly. Alright, so anyway, lock, cyan. I want cyan. Lock, cyan, Edgar, Sabin, and last but not least, Gao. Uh, no, not Gao. Last but not least, no one. This isn't my LLG here. And no, I'm not bringing Celeste, even though she's the healer. I, I... I'm not expecting to need her. And, uh... Which might make me a schmuck for saying that, but... At the same time, I always, like... The way I always play it is that I always try to divide the EXP as evenly as possible, and Celeste is going to be going to the Magitech re Research Facility, so I'm not going to bring her now. Instead, you can probably hazard a guess as to who I am, who I am bringing in this fourth slot, unless... you are... Well, I was about to say blind, but <laughs> I suppose that analogy doesn't work here. Unless you haven't played Final Fantasy VI before, or you're really, really stupid. Or, you know, you just haven't heard of it, because you haven't played it much, you didn't... I mean, I guess it would be fair to say that not everyone knows about that. You can get Shadow here, but... Well, that went off without a hitch this time. Double check the door. Yep. Not much that could happen there anyway. Not unless I got stuck in the chest. Now this time, I gotta remember to go to the armor shop. Kind of a big oversight. Actually, it's not really that big an oversight. The equipment isn't life or death equipment, it's just stuff that's kinda good to have. I'm actually not buying a whole lot from Narsh. Which may be unexpected to some of you, but there's not a whole lot here that I need. I'm already stocked up on dried meats. The items here are mostly for Locke and Celeste. Did I say it? Weapons? That's what I meant. The butterfly I'll want for later. 
needed that for my LG, cough cough. Uh, but I can get that easier at a shop where I'm already going to buy something. Else, the one in Kolingjin. So I figure there's no reason to waste my time going all the way over to the weapon shop this episode. Or rather, mini episode. So I want one of these. Two of these. I almost ended up buying three by accident. That would have been a pretty dumb mistake. Alright, so now I can just go straight out and leave. And by that I mean the armor shop, not Narsh, unfortunately. This time I won't mess up walking up here. One, two, or walking right around those barrels. One, two, three. Now I didn't make a mistake this time as far as I know yet, so I should... yes. Okay, I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, I just did a random cycling through with my menu, so I can't tell for sure. Hang on, let's put myself back on the save in Narsh. Cause that... that'll avoid the risk of me accidentally, uh... using an item or something. There we go. There's my save. Okay then, on part two. For realsies this time, I hope. Oh, that was really strange. I managed to run exactly into the weapon shop, even though that wasn't my plan at all. And it was at exactly the time that I was expecting to walk into the mayor's house, so it ended up throwing me off a lot. Not that I would have recovered from that anyway, but it's still kind of funny. <laughs> So anyway, this time I have to remember that I have to go around and onto the staircase. Got messed up again. Well, hopefully I made it this time. Yeah, I made it. I, n I never really got too solid on that spot down there, so... I never felt I needed to, considering this was like a two-minute segment, so... So yeah, this segment, I could have pretty much just copy-pasted the video from the LLG into here, because they're so similar. The only difference is uh, that Edgar's going to leave it now and not Sabin. Hopefully I made it far enough. There we go. Well, that's it for this part. One more part to go. Oh yeah, oops. Uh, the Black Belt and Power Glover are supposed to end up at the bottom of the inventory and not the top. So first, let's just make use of uh, the equipment I just bought. And second, relic time. 
so I want to remove uh, the black belt from Cyan. Put the black belt on Sabin. Put the power glove on Cyan. Let's put Cyan in the back row and equip skills item a save config. Oops. Dang it. I hope it doesn't memory cursor that menu. I don't... I mean, that would be weird, but... If I end up making a mistake that small, I'll just redo it off camera. But, I uh, Basically, I... I just want to have the black belt on Sabin and the power glove on Cyan because the power glove is going to get its full use on Cyan, whereas on on, Sa on Cyan the black belt won't be getting its full use once I get the Kotetsu, which will randomly counterattack for me. I don't really care so much about the Kikuichi; it's more expensive, and I'm because it doesn't randomly counterattack. I'm not going to equip it because I'm just never going to use the thing. Most Probably. <laughs> Unless I really need that stone proc for something. But... Yeah, so... That's the end of this segment. Finally. Alright, so basically what I was doing there, I was timing uh, my movements to the music, so just like I did in the LLG in the snowfields. It's kind of a handy trick, but now the light just went off. It's kind of a handy trick, but not useful everywhere because, well, partly because sometimes I mess it up. Alright, it should be up there now. Here we go. Okay, I messed up getting an elixir from the clock. How did that happen? Alright, let's go see what's going on. I'm in the weapon shop. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't quite what I expected.